What's up guys? Uh, today we are going to be going over the differences between the SB130 and the Revel Rascal. I'm not going to touch too much into the components on these bikes because that's always subject to change. They're both uh, each respective brand's GX build, so that'll be very similar. They're both in size large. I'm gonna go over basically the uh, geometry specs, so your reach, the uh, head tube angle, seat tube angle, the wheelbase and chainstay length, I'm gonna go over that. I've had the uh, privilege of riding both these bikes, so I'll give my opinion. These are both sick bikes. You can't go wrong if you're in between them. Both of the Infinity Link and the CBF, you really can't get any more advanced suspension than that. The reason why both these bikes are uh, highly sought after. So I'll start out with the Yeti SB130. So the SB130 is not a lunch ride version, so it is just 130 mils of travel in the rear. 150 up front and it's got a 65 and a half degree head tube angle so it's a little bit out there definitely a trail bike it's not a downhill bike or an enduro bike you could kind of tweak it to get enduro -y, but it's definitely a great uh, platform for the trail bike genre oh so this is just yeti's version of their trail bike if you want an enduro style a more enduro style bike you would go with the sb150 if you wanted a, a really good pedal monster you'd go with the SB115. In the size large, you get 65 and a half degree head tube angle, like I said earlier. A 433 millimeter chainstay length. Not too long, not too short, pretty good sweet spot. And I'm going in millimeters in this. Wheelbase is 1,230. Not a super long wheelbase, especially in this 29er. It's, it's pretty good, it's gonna keep the bike snappy, but also keep you planted, especially in that uh, rough stuff. SB130 runs with a 44 millimeter offset in the fork. The reach on this large is 480 millimeters. It's still gonna pedal really well. It's still gonna descend really well. The bike's not too heavy. It weighs 32 pounds in this GX build. Really advanced technology bike that is just great at doing any trail that you throw at it. It's not necessarily going to excel at running cross country um, and it's not going to necessarily excel at going down some really chunky stuff but it's definitely going to do that really well. There is better bikes for each of those scenarios but this bike is like you want one bike to rule them all go with the SV130. The 29ers are great on this bike. If you want to basically the same bike in a 27.5 platform the SB140 is what you would go with. You want a Swiss Army knife the SB140 30 is your go-to bike, I would have to tell you. So switching over here to the Revel, a little bit of a less known brand, like we've said, this is Revel's trail bike, the Revel Rascal. <clears throat> it's also a 29er. It's 130 mils of travel in the rear, 140 in the front. That can be tweaked just like the 130 can. Some people do 150, some people go down to 130 just like they would on the Yeti SB130. That's how they come stock, 140 in the front, 130 in the rear. This company's respective GX build um, you do get a little bit more with this. You get the upgraded wheels in some people's opinion, although those DT Swiss are straight up bomb proof. You do get some great industry nines on these, but I'm not gonna dive too much in the specs. Go watch our previous video if you wanna get into that. Get the 66 degree head tube angle up here. You get a little less travel and a little steeper head tube angle. That's just how it kind of rolls. The chainstay link, 433 in the rear. The uh, wheelbase is uh 1220 on this large and then they use the 51 millimeter offset for the fork so it does get a little bit out there although you wouldn't notice to the untrained eye uh any rakes in the fork you'd maybe notice in performance if you're uh, pretty dialed on your bikes very similar in specs um, only you know just a couple millimeters off a couple degrees off in some areas so these bikes are uh, very similar though i'm going to get into my opinion on what i think they uh excel at and uh, in their own respective categories. So you would go with the Rascal. Revel does not have as uh, diverse of a lineup as Yeti. They haven't been around as long, that's one thing. But the Rascal is their 29er trail bike, kind of another Swiss Army bike. Uh, you wouldn't need any other bikes if that's kind of your style of riding. You want to hit all types of trails. You want to pedal this thing. You want to take it to some bike parks. And you also want to, you know, rip it uphill. This is definitely the Swiss Army knife. They do have the Revel Ranger that's a little more uh, cross-country oriented. And then they do have the Revel Rail, which is a 27.5, but it is a little more down, downhill oriented. Just talking about the Rascal today, their Swiss Army Knife, Swiss Cheese Bike. Definitely an awesome bike and you can't go wrong with it. So I'm gonna jump into my opinion, guys. Like I said, I've had the privilege of riding both these bikes, getting a lot of hours on both of them to make sure I do have an opinion. So uh, we are able to tell customers which one we like, which, uh, you know, some things we dislike about them. I have gotten a lot more hours on this Yeti. 
Um, we've just been a dealer for them longer. We've gotten more bikes from them. We've had more demos, yada, yada. I love the Yeti platform. The Switch Infinity is straight up amazing. Anybody that gets on it uh, immediately gets one because it's just, it, it blows everything else out of the water. It is, it keeps you high in your travel. It doesn't squat the bike. You don't get suspension bob. It just keeps the bikes feeling super live. Uh, super playful and and really snappy even when you get a lot of travel still lifetime warranty both these will have a lifetime warranty you know they just they're tried and true man if you just want one amazing boutique bike brand and you don't want to get another bike Yeti's your go-to man I find on the SB 130 it definitely wants to go uh, not as much as let's say like the 115 or the 150 but this bike is definitely ready to roll whichever you want. So I would almost put it in, it's in their rip category. I would almost put it in between the rip and the race. It is a rip bike. You can definitely play around with it, but I just feel how it's set up with the 29ers, with the head tube angle, 20 more mils of travel front than the, in the front than the rear, that this bike is definitely ready to go downhill and crush them to sins. That being said though, it can pedal uphill really well with that Switch Infinity. So I would definitely say it's definitely geared more towards some aggressive trail riders that are wanting to push that bike to its limits and definitely are a little bit more downhill focused than worried about their uh, how much cardio. I don't know, I'm not a cross country rider. I don't know what you, you do, but I definitely say it's definitely more uh, downhill oriented, although still can pedal. Onto the Rebel side, this platform is definitely awesome. The CBF linkage, it's super awesome. It is, it acts very similar to the uh, Switch Infinity. Um, they use definitely a different style. It's linkage rather than suspension. Uh, that's the word I'm going to use. It's not the C it's Switch Infinity is not suspension, but it is stanchions. It does the same thing. It keeps you high in the travel. Uh, it doesn't squat. It's very playful. It keeps the bike feeling lively. You also get the lifetime warranty, like I said. When I've ridden this bike, uh, I have found that it is a little bit better on the climbing side. If you're a little more of a, a climber, you like uh, to put the pedal in the metal and fly up the hills. I would definitely try and push you towards the Rascal. A little less travel in the front, just 10 mils compared to the Yeti, but to me, you can feel it, the, that uh, 0.5 degree head tube angle, I actually can kind of notice a little bit differently. This bike is definitely more of a trail bike, like in the sense of the word, it's a trail bike. Uh, it's gonna be good going downhill, it's gonna be good going uphill. It's not gonna uh, take those downhills uh, quite as well as the SB130. Honestly, on the uphill, I thought I was on an e-bike. This thing can absolutely fly uphill. Just the CBF, I think just the way the linkage works is that uphills is where it really shines. Just like the Switch Infinity, I think this is just a little more geared to definitely keep you high in that travel. Um, and to push you going up the hill. It might, it's not as playful, in my opinion, as the Switch Infinity. You don't feel as poppy, as lively. You definitely feel more planted uh, and ready to rip up the hills. So I would say both of these are definitely in the trail bike category. This one's gonna be more of an aggressive trail bike. Uh, this one's gonna be more of just a trail bike. That's just how I felt when I've been riding these bikes. Also, just not a huge 29er fan. My We'll do a bike check on it. My 165 is mulleted, so that's really cool and single speeded. So I've definitely completely changed that bike. Um, but I'm, you know, if you're looking for a trail bike, these are the ones you want. Aggressive trail bike, normal trail bike, both are awesome. Both lifetime warranty. Both come in these sweet. This is the Sedona. This is the Rock Carbon. You can't go wrong with these bikes. So come in, check them out. We only have a few of these left. We will be getting more Revels throughout the summer. We are out, uh, almost out of Yetis. We have two left. So uh, just get the last two while we got them. Um, but we will get the new 2022s when they come back. We got some other cool stuff coming down the pipe. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.